let's talk about another one of our our really good databases. We're going to go to back to articles and databases. Uh, I want to talk about these other favorite databases. They're just simply the ones that get used the most. Academic Search, JSTOR, CQ Researcher, Research Library, Nexus Uni. We're going to talk about ProQuest. ProQuest Research Library, very similar to Academic Search Complete, except uh, it's the same idea, just a different company. Some overlapping content, but it's a general database. It, it would cover everything from articles on um, James Baldwin to articles on student loans and everything in between. Um, and so we're going to click full text. That's a really good idea. And then we're going to do a search. We're going to do James Baldwin. Well, very important that I spell it right. And rhetoric. Uh, he was a great speaker and a great writer. Great writers and speakers always have a rhetoric, uh, a means of persuasion, a way to persuade people. Uh, we've got a decent search, 11. That's great. Uh, and this one's a little different to uh, to read. Um, you'll notice um, that there is no magnifying glass on the right side. So if we go through and we're looking at these, well, how do I find out what the journal name is? Like number two here, it's going to be a journal. Uh, I can look at it and tell that it's probably a scholarly journal. It's a, uh, another modernism, James Baldwin, Giovanni's Room, and the Rhetoric of Flight. And the journal name is Modern Fiction Studies. Don't worry about Baltimore. Um, and that's just simply showing you that it's bold before the right below the title and that's going to be the journal name same same one uh, making love making friends affiliation and repair and Jane Baldwin's other another country you say well what journal is it well it studies in American fiction you can see that if you want that one uh, you want to learn more about it go to preview and it's going to give you a basic uh, abstract don't quote the abstract in your paper that's a big no-no but if you read the abstract you read the title and you read and you say well that's probably something I'm interested in you could go to full text to get the full text uh, as an HTML uh, in this next one James Baldwin's life on the left a portrait of the artist as a young New York intellectual it's from ELH that's the name of the journal and you say I want that that looks great uh, it's gonna be from uh, PDF I'm gonna go pull that up oh, there's a there's a um, journal article it's 31 pages it's uh, you know it's just like a journal article and if there you know there's a picture in there and it probably won't be but if there is it's going to be there it's going to have page numbers and now you now you can you can save a copy you can you can download it you can print it you can go over to the right and and save it as a PDF you can cite it you can get an email of it I like to email articles to myself one of my favorite ways to do it I keep track of stuff in my email and I always go keyword search my email if I'm interested in my James Baldwin article that I remember saving. And if you do email, it gets tricky in this database. It's a little harder to email. Only because you have to know that you've got to click this little include bibliographic citations at the end. And you don't want APA. What do you want? You want MLA 8th edition if you're in an English class. If you're in a class for APA, that's good. Take it. But you got to manually click the little button and then change it and then email it to yourself you'll be good to go if you want to save it to your say save it to your Google Drive which is very convenient go to all options and then you can see Google Drive right there save it and no problem research library is a great database academic search complete is a great database as well uh, those are both very helpful they're general databases they cover all different topics again we have about 150 databases the reason we have so many is they're all different but that's articles and databases very, very helpful to use uh, for, for anybody.